Hello, Pastor Joaquin, and hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad to be here in Heartland today. I always have so much fun learning from Farmer Joey. Hello, Miss Lauren. I know what you mean. You know, I'm glad to be here too. I love hearing more about Jesus every week. You know, I wonder what the lesson is going to be about. Boys and girls, you know, we've been learning about how Jesus is our perfect priest. That is right. While he was on earth, Jesus showed us how can we know more about God. That is so cool. You know what? Let's head over to Heartland and find out what else happened to Jesus. Come on, boys and girls. Vámonos. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey, and I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs to Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, we can be more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand up right where you are and give yourself a hand? Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning into Heartland today. <sighs> I don't think anyone cares that I'm back. Doesn't, I don't think they care. Mm -mm, not at all. Hey, Uniqua. What's going on? Hi, Farmer Joey. You know, I was really excited to be back in Heartland. Well, you know, we're all excited to have you back. Well, maybe you are, but I don't think any of my friends are. Huh? Wait, why do you say that? So, I wanted to have a party with all my friends, but none of them will do what I asked them. Well, wait, what did you ask them to do? Well, you know, just little things like pick up the balloons from Mrs. Sue's house, okay. or come early and help me decorate. It just makes me sad, Farmer Joey. Mm, you know what? This sounds like the Bible story from today. Farmer Joey, how does my party sound anything like Jesus praying in the garden and getting arrested? <laughs> so, um, wasn't there a part where Jesus was sad too? Uh, uh there was? Was there? Okay, <clears throat> you know what I'm about to say, right? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. I have to go <laughs> and read the Bible story again. That's right. And then... When you come on back, we can talk about those things and why it's like your party. All right, here we go again. I'll be back after I read it again. Bye, Farmer Joey. <laughs> Bye, Uniqua. <laughs> Boys and girls, you know, when Uniqua reads the story again, she's going to realize that the way she feels right now is the same way Jesus felt too. So while we wait for Uniqua, how about we sing about that letter that God has sent us? You know, boys and girls, every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us, and we can read it every day. And what is that letter called, boys and girls? That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. I know that he loves me. 
He hears when I pray, and all of his stories are true. Now let's be very still and quiet and see what the Bible has to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. Good morning, Farmer Joey, and good morning, boys and girls. Please tell us something from God's Word this morning, Bible. The Bible verse today is, For we have a high priest who has been tempted in every way as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4, verse 15. Okay, boys and girls, let's give this one a go. I know you can do it. Now, let's repeat this week's Bible verse and repeat after me. Also remember, you can practice it with your mom and dad, too. For we have a high priest. For we have a high priest. Who has been tempted. Who has been tempted. In every way as we are. In every way as we are. Yet without sin. Yet without sin. Nice job. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. You ready? For we have a high priest. For we have a high priest. Who has been tempted. Who has been tempted. In every way as we are. In every way as we are. Yet without sin. Yet without sin. Hebrews 4, 15. Hebrews 4, 15. Great job. Jesus never sinned, not even once. I know, Bible. Isn't that amazing that Jesus never sinned, even though he was tempted? This is why everyone should try to be like Jesus. That is so true, Bible. Boys and girls, we should try to be like Jesus and not sin. But remember, he's God's son and he is perfect. We're only human and we can make mistakes. When you make a mistake and sin, you should ask for forgiveness. Exactly, Bible. We should always ask for forgiveness. That's why Jesus died on the cross for us, right? so that we can be forgiven of our sin. Thank you, Bible, for helping me teach the boys and girls that we should ask Jesus to forgive us when we sin. You know what, Miss Lauren? That's so sad that Uniqua friends didn't want to help mm -hmm. her with her potty. I know I have felt sad when my friends were not helping me. I know what you mean, Pastor Joaquin. It can be hurtful when our friends don't want to help out. Yeah, but you know, sometimes we can get hurt we can be tempted to be angry with our friends and mm. be unkind to them. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like what Bible was telling us about Jesus being tempted. The Bible tells us that Jesus was tempted just like we are, but he never sinned. That's incredible. I'm pretty sure that I could never do that. Mm -hmm. But that's how we know that Jesus was the son of God. Only he could do that. And I am so glad that he did. I love that the Bible tells us that Jesus was just like us, except he never sinned. Well, that's right, Miss Lauren. Mm -hmm. How about if we go back to Harlem and find out if Uniqua is ready for her party yet? Sounds good. Let's go. Farmer Joey. Farmer Joey. <laughs> Farmer Joey. Yes. Farmer Joey? <laughs> yes. Hi, Uniqua. <laughs> Hi, Farmer Joey. I read the story again. Okay, awesome. So now, do you see why I say it's kind of like how you feel with your party? Uh, kind of. Jesus was sad because his friends kept falling asleep and okay. not staying awake and praying like he asked them to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus told them about his sacrifice that was to come on the cross. And yet, they couldn't even stay awake and pray even though they knew just how much Jesus was doing for them. You know, it's kind of like how you feel when you ask your friends, even though you're trying to have a party for them. Oh, I see now, but I still have some questions. Okay, what you got? How did Jesus know that Judas was going to betray him mm. and that Peter would deny him? Okay, well, I think you know the answer to that already, but, you know, let me ask you a question first. Who is Jesus? That's easy. He's God's only son. Exactly. And uh, don't you think God would have told him what was going to happen? Uh, so God told him about Judas and Peter? What did they do to, G you know, what they did to Jesus probably made him sad too then, right? 
Uh, I'm, I'm sure it did. Remember, every time we do something wrong or go against Jesus, it makes him sad because he loves us so much, just like he loved the disciples. Wow. I guess I shouldn't be upset that my friends didn't help with the party. <laughs> you know, it, it's okay to be sad, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe ask them why they didn't help, you know? They might even have a good reason. Yeah, I can do that. Well, I better get going. I have a lot to do for the party. <laughs> would you like to come? Uh, of course I would love to come. You know what? I'll go pick up uh, balloons from Miss Sue, and uh, uh, I'll bring her along with me. You know how much she loves to decorate. Oh, yes, I do. Thanks, Farmer Joey. You're the best. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Bye, Uniqua. <laughs> Boys and girls, you know, Jesus wanted to follow God's plan for him, right? But it must have been hard for him to see that his friends didn't know how important this plan was. Well, I think it's time to use our best singing voices to sing to God. Remember, boys and girls, all our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned that God had a plan for Jesus, and that was to rescue us from our sins. Our big idea this week is this. Jesus is the perfect priest because Jesus gave his life as the perfect sacrifice for sin. When Jesus was arrested, he did not fight back. Jesus wanted to follow God's plan for him, no matter what. So, boys and girls, let's repeat this week's Bible verse, and make sure you say it as awesome as you can. For we have a high priest. For we have a high priest. Who has been tempted. Who has been tempted. In every way as we are. In every way as we are. Yet without sin. Yet without sin. Hebrews 4.15. Hebrews 4.15. Great job. Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Thank you for sending your son. Thank you for sending your son. To save us from our sins. To save us from our sins. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's tell your mommy that just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. Remember when Farmer Joey pointed out that Jesus' friends weren't even staying awake to pray with him in the garden? That would probably make me pretty upset, Pastor Joaquin. Well, me too. But unlike us, Jesus is perfect. So mm -hmm. he didn't get mad at his friends like we might. He knew he was going to suffer and die on the cross. Mm -hmm.
to make a way for those friends to live with him in heaven one day. You are so right, Pastor Joaquin. Jesus was in the garden knowing that he was going to be betrayed by his friends and arrested. But all of that had to happen for him to be the one sacrifice for our sins. And because he was the perfect sacrifice, that means that we are able to have forgiveness mm -hmm. of our sins and live in mm -hmm. heaven with him one day too. Boys and girls, that is the best news of all. God loves us so much that he gave his only son, Jesus, to be the payment for our sins. And you can share that good news with everyone you see today. Well, it's been a great being in Harlem with you today. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.